Hi, my name is Maham Tariq from Skill Curve, and in this demo, we are going to create a new app service on Azure. So let's get started. From the portal, I'm going to use one of these shortcuts on the front page, or you can search for the service you're looking for in the search bar above. And then I'm gonna hit create. Now you can create your own new resource group, and but I'm going to use the one I already have. And then we need to give the new web app or app service a name. And this has to be a unique name across all of Azure, not just your own subscription, because it would get a unique web address. You can see it gets a green tick, which means that yes, we are okay to use that name. I can choose to publish a code or Docker container. We can also select the runtime stack. I'm going to choose .NET 6 operating system Windows. In region, we're going to select a region as always for a resource. I'm going to go with the US East one. And now we have the app service plan. The app service is your website, that's your resource. The app service plan is more like your server or your VM. So we can create a new one or it's already suggested a name for us, which is fine if you want to do that or we can choose to create our own. Since I'm on a free tier, I can only choose to create the free app service plan. Of course, if we're on the pay as you go plan or pay plan, I can choose many other types of VMs and app service plans. Now let's move forward to the next section, which is deployment. We don't have much to change here, so let's just skip to the next section. Web apps can be made public or isolated based on inbound and outbound traffic rules. By default, this app is open to the internet. I leave it like this and move forward. Here, I can choose to enable or disable App Insights. Application Insights is an extension to Azure Monitor and provides application performance monitoring features. APM tools are useful to monitor applications from development through test and into production. Then we have the last section that is tags. Tags help to categorize resources. I'll just add a single tag and go to review and create. Now I'll just click on create to create a new web app and wait for the deployment to complete. Deployment of resources can take up to a few minutes. So I'll just pause the video here until the deployment is completed. And now our deployment has succeeded. Let's go to the resource and here are all the various properties of the particular app service. Now the interesting one here is the URL. If I click on that and I open it in a new tab, we're going to load up the website that was just created. So this is the app service running on the app service plan. So that's how you create an app service. But as always, before ending the lab, let's just go and clean up. Don't forget to clean up resources if you're not using them. So we're going to go back and delete everything we no longer need, like our resource group and the web app we just created. That's all for this lab.